this would probably be a good time to talk about the whole concept that teeth can essentially build themselves and destroy themselves independent of sugar intake and um, other factors. So if, if you would, could you just, just briefly walk us through, you know, th this whole business of mineralization mm -hmm. um, and demineralization of teeth? Because yes. I find this so interesting and later I'll share a little bit. Um, full disclosure, uh, I have a very complicated um, oral health history. <laughs> um, and had I known what you're about to tell us, I think I would have spared myself a ton of pain. Potentially. Um, I'm sorry to hear that, but oh. we'll we'll unpack that. You weren't my dentist, unfortunately. No. So. I have I have stories to share too. We'll get we'll get to as well. I think many people do, and that's the problem. Um so I wasn't taught this in dental school, interestingly enough. So this is something I learned later um, out in practice. And um, it's the concept that your teeth can naturally remineralize if you have a small cavity. But let's um, let's start further back. So your teeth are constantly going through demineralization and remineralization. And this is very natural. And anytime we put anything into our mouth besides arguably neutral water, and this has to do with pH. Um, so f anytime we eat, our mouth is the beginning of the digestive system. So we release amylase, which is an enzyme that helps break down our food. And in doing that, the pH drops. This is how we start digestion. When that happens, we lose minerals in our teeth. The acid will leach out calcium, phosphorus, and minerals from our teeth. Um, but the, the concern is we don't want it to stay in that acidic state for too long, in that demineralized state for too long. Um, because if we allow our body to do its thing, our saliva will naturally remineralize our teeth. This is all part of a healthy balance system. So our saliva is this golden elixir of our body, and it contains immune cells and enzymes, but also the minerals that we should need if balanced to create that remineralization. So there's something called the Stefan curve. And um, essentially, it, it's showing us how our mouth will become acidic and neutral and acidic and neutral throughout the day as we eat. The problem is in modern society, we tend to be snacking and grazing and sipping all of the time. So we're not giving our mouths enough of a break, enough of an opportunity to remineralize.